Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is episode two of the AFC Greg's series. If you didn't see yesterday's video, or to today's video, this morning's video, I suppose, um, please go and click the link up in the corner right now, and uh, you can go and see like the lore and the, the the story behind Greg's forming, and you can kind of get a grip on how the series is going to be before we go into today's episode, which is our first games of the season, the first ever games of AFC Greg's professional ones. We've played a few friendlies and stuff, but the first ever professional games, and you can kind of see who is going to be a good player for us in this series. We've made loads of transfers been good I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far hopefully we'll keep enjoying it i'm going to try and keep this as many episodes per week as possible so keep an eye on the channel subscribe like and all that stuff and um, i'd really appreciate your support but yeah let's get straight into the video right so we are about to play our first game of the season but i'll just give you a quick update on the players that we brought in we brought in a couple more in total we've brought in 34 players which is a lot but in this league, you're going to have players that come in and out the door. We've loaned a couple out as well. So last time you saw us, we'd signed Josh Yinsan was our most recent signing. He's been pretty good for us so far. I'm glad we signed him. Uh, so we've signed Michael Emery, who is our new first choice goalkeeper. I wanted another goalkeeper. He's very good. His stats are excellent. Um, as you can see, like pretty much nines across the board, which is what you want in this league nine eight nines and then he's got some flair stats like he's really good at punching his passing's really good so he could potentially play as a sweeper keeper kind of player and then we've also signed isaac ward uh who is a left-sided center back and i think we've got a good one here um good pace six foot three good strength good heading good work rate good positioning you know his vision i'd like him to improve which is what i am training him on um, a couple of players will probably leave on loan, but uh, let's take a look at how we've done in the friendlies. Now, last time you saw, we'd just beaten Bootle. We then drew 1-1 with Swansea, and they played a very good team. Jamal Lowe played, one of their star players. Very impressive result against them. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we then beat Kurz and Ashton 1-0, who are in the league above. We then lost 4-1 to Morton, and initially I was like, Morton? Oh no, that's really bad, isn't it? But they are a Scottish Championship side, so actually, I think it's the Championship. It, maybe it's Scottish League 1? Scottish Championship, so the Scottish Championship side, I'm not actually that bothered. That's like losing to a League 1 team. I'm happy with that. Um, we beat Barnsley under 23s 3-1, really good result. We beat Airdrie 2-0, who again are, I believe, a Scottish League 1 side. You know, not bad. It's a it's a football league side. We then beat Hearts 3-2. Now, <laughs> they played a full-strength team. They're, Gary McKay Stevens was playing. Like, they played a really good team. And we beat them in the 85th minute. Uh, Ellis Williamson, who I brought back from my under-19. He was just going to play in my under-18s for the season. But um, I then compared his stats. And he's actually really good. So, he might make sporadic appearances. He's going to be my sub-striker, I think. Um, this season with that finishing and composure he could get some late goals which will come become really important and he did get goals in pre-season he actually got five in pre-season uh in total we drew 1-1 with Dunfermline another good result we drew 0-0 with Chesterfield another good result we beat Dundee United uh, just Dundee sorry not Dundee United uh we beat Dundee 4-3 um again Scottish Championship side you know very happy with that um and we won it in the 90 plus four with an absolute belter of a goal um, we lost 3-2 to um, National League, not County. 2-0 to Falkirk, and then we drew 2-2 with Green of the South. And our first game today, which we're going to play in just a minute, is Atherton Collieries. I think that's how you say it, Collieries. Uh, let's see how they're predicted to see how difficult this season... Right, season preview. So we're predicted 201, uh, 200 to 1, and finishing bottom of the league is what they think. Atherton Collieries are the team just above us. So we should win this first game. I'd be quite happy. I'm looking at our team and I think we should finish around mid-table this season. I think that's the kind of quality that we've got. That could be a good game for us to start the season with. And then later on, we have Nantwich, who are a bit more of a mid-table side. The kind of side that if we're beating that kind of side, then we'll start to look a little bit higher up the table. Um, because they're probably going to finish around the mid-table. Right then. Let's take a look at the team that we're going to use for this first game then. 
Um, and we're going with Malice, who's been fabulous in preseason. Let's let's take a look at him. Uh, nine goals in fourteen appearances in the preseason. There were loads of preseason friendly games, as you can see here. Like, like look at them all, because it is October when we're starting the season due to COVID, um, due to the update. And I'm I'm pretty happy with the preseason. Um, Malice will start up front alongside a Yin San, um, who again, since he came in, what's he done? Five goals in twelve appearances, but he's he's been a focal point and that's really important his expected goals is one per game so hopefully we can get him scoring that uh powell is going to start uh he's been back from injury for a couple of games now looked okay alfie colburn who we mentioned i know that's behind my head but um the youngster who we mentioned who scored those absolute screamers in the first um video he is going to play on the bench i'm i'm pretty keen in bringing him on and sam hurst who's the other youngster that we've got on the bench um, then we've got Patience, who's our set-piece taker, and that's really the only reason he's in the team. There are better players than him, but I need that set-piece taker because we're actually been pretty focused on set-pieces so far. Sumner is going to play on the right side. He scored some nice goals. Um, they don't really rate him, but I think I think he's been pretty good. Healy, our captain. Cameron Healy, salute the man, salute the man. This guy is going to be huge for us this season. Those stats are insane. And he's been really good for us in the uh, preseason games. And he's our captain because he's got 17 leadership. Um, you know, you love to see it. Really good player. Uh, Hope uh, is going to be left back. We've got Griffin on the right. Uh, Malokwu is the centre back for us, who is the six foot five uh, big man. He is going to be key for us from corners, I think. I think he might get a few goals this season if he's uh, heading stat of nine is anything to go by Laird as well will start for us at centre back however um Isaac Ward who I've just mentioned we just signed the the left-footed centre back is going to start from the bench because he hasn't really had any pre-season games like he's not played for us yet so I'm not going to throw him straight into the lineup in the first game this is a quite a recent sign we signed him on the 1st of October so he won't play just yet but Laird, you know, Laird's a really good player and it's a shame to see him kicked out of the team but they'll all get game time. There's a reason why I've got so many players. I know this league will have lots of ins and outs. The rotating door of the lower leagues will come to hit us. Uh, let me just show you my set pieces because I can kind of give you an idea of what we're doing and a reason why I think we're going to score goals from set pieces. Um, so we're whipping them to the near post and at the near post we've got six foot five Ian Sun. We've got six foot five Malukwu. Uh, we've got six foot two Laird on the goalkeeper, and at the back post we've got six foot uh, Molas who's going to come in. So what you'll probably see from some of our goals this season is the ball being whipped in the near post, and one of these two guys winning it, and then it'll either go over. Most of the time it will go over. Um, sometimes it will go in, and then every now and again it will drop to about here, and Molas will be able to tap it in at the back post. We've managed to keep three players back and only one lurking, which I think is pretty key. We're doing the same on the other side, although it's a, it's a whipped inwards corner, so these ones I predict will go over even more um, because you need to get a bit more of a, a generous flick on them to get anything decent, but that is our corner tactic for the season, and we're also going for uh, long throws. Both of our left and right back have 10 long throw-ins, which is pretty good in this league. So I've just kind of clustered the strikers around where they're going to throw it, hope to get a flick on, and then there's a couple of people lurking around the edge of the penalty area and around the edge of the six-yard box who can hopefully get on the end of those. I know they've patched long throws to a certain extent, but not completely. And I had some good joy on uh, my Twitch stream the other day uh, while I'm playing as a full English team uh, as Portsmouth in League One we just missed out on getting promoted in the playoff final we lost to MK Dons but um, yeah good one to come and watch if you want to come and watch some more live FM you want to see me do this live then uh, yeah come over to the Twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash the underscore steak underscore bake it's in the description if you want to click a link but make sure you watch this video first right so let's get in to the first game of AFC Greg's first professional game anyway or semi-professional but um, I'm excited. Who will get the first goal? Who reckon? I reckon it's going to be Molas. Uh, he's been very good. Uh, I'm going to say, go and have some fun. Because that's what I want to see. I want to see a fun, lively, athletic performance from Greggs here. We, of course, are playing in our light blue strip. Most of the season we will be playing in that. Having looked at the editor, it seems that most of the time, I think we only play in the orange kit five or six times. We play more when we go higher up the league. But... Uh, Ball's going to come over the top here. 
and the layer's going to tidy up at the back, and uh, we need to change the speed of these highlights. Long throw from Hope into the penalty area towards Patience. He heads it back to Hope. Hope's going to be able to get the ball onto his left foot. Great ball in. Ayinsan should score. Early chance. Early chance for Greg. So Yinsan has been doing quite a lot of that in pre-season. So we will see whether he can get them on target a bit more. His finishing is not the best, but our great ball through. Malas. Beautiful chip. What a goal for the first goal for Greg's. What an unbelievable goal. You love to see it. Malas. He's done one of those in pre-season as well. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I think Williamson did one as well. Lovely head forward by Yinsan. Malas takes it lovely on his right foot. And that is, that is a peach of a finish. Beautiful lob. Malas gets the first ever Greg's goal. And I was correct. I said Malas would do it. That's not great. We don't actually have a left back on the bench. Because uh, you can only make five substitutions in this league. However, Griffin can play there. So if we switch uh, Hope round with Griffin. And then put Donny longer longer into the right position i will need to change some throw in stuff as well before we go back into the game but that's kind of annoying big kick long in search of summer we've seen to try and aim for those higher up positions the long kicks lovely chip over the top from a yinsan powell is through good defending sumner straight the goalkeeper that kind of thing has been happening quite a lot where players just don't get their shots away that happens in this lower leagues but we're expecting that. Matt Long have gone top. Good corner from Patience. So Yinsan, it's in. It's 2-0. Josh Yinsan from the corner. And I think you'll see quite a few of those corners this season. I think we're going to aim for, you know, 10 to 15 goals from those corners, I think. It's a lovely ball in from Patience. So Yinsan finds himself in amongst like five or six players. Really well played from Yinsan to disrupt that cluster at the front post. Win. Kicks it long in search of Katon on the far left-hand side. Pete. Picks the ball up and dinks it forward. Malokwu is there to win the header. We love to see it. Donny, longer, longer. Kicks the ball long to a Yinsan who wins the header. He's done it all game. Sumner comes forward now on the right-hand side. Whips in an early ball. Malas over the bar. Win with a goal kick. It's non-stop highlights here. We are on key highlights. So, you know, keep the interest in football going. Very happy to have big games like this. Emery comes out of his penalty area and then kicks the ball long towards the left-hand side. But he's given it away to Smith. Kasani, Holdsworth. Holdsworth gets past this man. Good run from Holdsworth. Good tackle from Healy, though. Oh, Malukwu's off. Oh, what a goal! And Jesus, Jesus, Katon. Katon, whatever your name is. That's a ridiculous goal. I was just about to say that Malukwu had found himself out of position with his little staggered run just there. Here, like he stumbles. I don't know what he's doing. And then, oh, what a goal. Incredible finish. Great goal. Atherton Collieries get back into the game then. Half time then, 2-1 to Greggs. Decent, decent performance from the first half. Look at look at this XG from uh, Atherton Collieries. I don't know if you can see it because it's really dark black uh, on a dark background, but it's literally 0 0.11 compared to our 2.01. So ours is ridiculous. Really good first half though. I'm happy with the team so far. Pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. Um, Williamson will probably come on for Molas uh, on about 60 minutes, I think into the second half then and nothing happens for the first 10 minutes which is the only time in the game that nothing has happened here's win who has got the ball in his clutches kicks it long it's a really good kick but laird is fastest to it finds patience on the left hand side i need a little bit of our oh, great ball to malice malice is through <sighs> terrible goalkeeping and i've just realized that that's a key chance and i'm gonna have to include my singing there god damn it um, patience with the corner then. Whip towards the near post. Malokwu's there. He's headed away. Kasani can counter-attack. It's going to be a counter-attack to Atherton Collieries now. Can they get past longer, longer? No, they cannot. Very good slide tackle. We'll take it. 2-1 into the first game on the 60th minute. Another corner. Whipped into Patience. Cleared away. Kasani's going to run away with the ball again. We're going to have a defender charge over to him. And he's not fast enough. Kasani's going to be through here. Into the penalty area. Easy save from Emery. Well done, Emery. Easy catch. We like to see that. Ball played into Pete on the left-hand side. Caton, the goal scorer. Kick forward. Laird wins the header. Uh, Patience isn't really paying much attention. And it's a beautiful ball. And Stanley should score. And Atherton Collery should be back in the game there. But we, we have dominated this game. They've just kind of got back into it in this half. And actually, I think we're going to tick through most of the way to the final whistle. Let's not have a last-minute equaliser, please. Tick all the way through. Oh, this isn't a good time. Ball played in. Headed away. 
Got to get the second ball. There's no one there. Where are you guys? Strikers, hello. Ball back in. Goodness me. Goodness me. That was nearly... I think I think it was offside. It is offside. But that should be the end of the game. But that was nearly not good from us there. Emery. To kick it long. To get Greggs' first win as a club. Can we do it? We can. There we go. Greggs. AFC Greggs get their first win. A Yin Sun played absolutely fantastically. You have to say. Uh, Malice got a goal as well. Very good performance from the boys. Right, second game then, and it's Nantwich that we are playing, who got a draw in their first game and are currently sitting in 14th place, which is, you know, it's all right. It means they're very difficult to predict as a team of how they're going to be. Um, one thing I do just want to note is uh, if you don't use the new gen player pack by FM Base and Zeeland Shannon, what are you doing? Like, I've just added it to the, the team, and Alfie Colburn, who you know is a 16-year-old, he is a new gen, or regen, however you want to call it, Look at this face. This is a generated face. This is generated. That's not a real person. That is a generated... That's ridiculous. That's amazing. I, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. And if I remember, I'll try and find a frame in the video where you can see his original face, just to prove that it was a uh, regen face. But yeah, anyway, just <laughs> just thought I'd point that out because it's really cool. Um, and it wasn't hard either. It wasn't difficult to install. Um, in fact, Zealand's got a video on it. In fact, I'll just link, I'll just link Zealand's video because that makes it really easy to install um right randall is going to come in at left back for hope who is going to stay out injured unfortunately i think i'm going to play isaac ward this time um and we'll see what happens with those two isaac ward and Malukwi actually says that he's one of the best players in my team which is kind of what i was hoping into this next game then nantwich have their manager dave cook and uh we are playing at the bakery the first ever home game of afc greggs let's see whether this former berry stadium gig lane or now known as the bakery can pull off a good entertaining first fixture for us we won away right here we are at the bakery i'm excited early throw in griffin's gonna take the throw he throws it into a yinson great ball in from griffin towards the back post patience is gonna pick it up Good ball in. Again, San. Sumner. It's in. We've scored at home. The first ever home goal is Dylan Sumner. Lovely piece of football from the team. You love to see it. Griffin. Ridiculous ball. Well played for patience for running over and keeping it in. Getting that great ball in. Again, San with a little flick on. And Sumner's played it across the bodies. This guy's played everyone on side. M. Hughes. And it's 1-0 to Greggs. Another good early start. And we're going to have another highlight here. Dinked over the top towards Molas. Molas is in. Oof. Hits the outside of the post or maybe the side netting. I don't really know what's the game going to give it. It's given it side netting. Okay, fair. Griffin with another long throw. We're still in the opening 10 minutes here. Headed away. Randall's going to pick it up. He plays in Griffin. Lovely ball to Sumner. Sumner's got into some space. Griffin's there. Healy. There's some space for some passing here. Randall. Molas. Lovely football. Oh, well cut out though. Well, good defending. Um, Lukwu is going to be caught in possession here. Sanders is going to come through. Laurie, Malkin, over. Randall dinks the ball over the top in search of Malas. Malas first time, off the crossbar. Oh, it's offside. Okay, fair. I was going to say, that would have been a beautiful goal. Boots it long. Randall heads the ball back. Hughes is going to tidy up at the back. Oh, is he going to muck up here? No. Hughes, Malkin, Coral. I like that name, spelled with a K. Lovely tackle from Healy. Healy goes forward. Can he get past Hughes here? He can. Lovely run from Healy. Left footed ball into Yinsan. Oh, just wide. Josh Yinsan rises highest, which he should do at six foot five. And uh, Greg's are still 1 0 up. Griffin with another throw in from the right hand side in towards Yinsan. Flicks it to the back post. Malice, it's disallowed. We're going to demand more, I think. Ask a little bit more of our team. And they're going to give me nothing. They're going to go straight through to half time with nothing. But, you know. Um, I have you've played so well and there is room for improvement um, I am going to bring on Hurst at left mid and see if he can do the job that patience in fact he's better than patience already like if we can get him to take corners and free kicks then we don't really need patience mind you then I won't get to sing I need a little bit of patience every time he does something good but um, I'm sure KSI and Youngblood will appreciate me not singing that and ruining their song but you know Sam Hurst and Alfie Coburn the two 16 year old lads coming on for us then at half time 
slightly less interesting game than the first one. There was a lot more action, a lot more highlights. We're going to tick through a little bit through into the 60th minute now. Throw in on the right-hand side for Randall. He throws it all the way up towards Hersey. Lovely ball through from Hersey to Malice. Malice is through on goal. Can he score? Good save. Divine on the left-hand side gets the ball in. It's headed away. Um, a Yin San's not really paying much attention. Ball back in. Griffin headed forward. A Yin San. The ball is right there. Go and get the ball. Ball over the top. Malkin's there. Wonderful save from Emery. Well played, Emery. Thank goodness. Because that was poor from us there. Cook with the corner in. Whips it in towards the back post. Headed away nicely by Griffin. And that's going to be the end of the highlight. So let's get um, Williamson on for Molas and try and win this game now. Try and win it 2-0. We're 1-0 we up with 10 minutes to go. Griffin goes the long throw into Yin San. He stumbles and that's going to be a penalty a, a penalty for Greggs. Uh, and Williamson is going to take it actually looking at his penalty stats. Williamson steps up then. Can he put the game to bed? 12 finishing, 9 composure. I don't know what his penalties are. Pretty good. Pretty good. We'll take it. 2-0. 2-0. Williamson gets his goal, the youngster. And I mean, most most of my players are youngsters. But uh, yeah, Greg's 2, Nantwich 0. And we're going to win at home. And we're going to go two games unbeaten at the start of the season. First episode's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy. Second episode, sorry. Second episode's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this. Final chance then. Randall throw in. In towards the penalty area. Williamson's there. And he's got two. And it's 3-0. And in the last 10 minutes, we've put Nantwich to bed. Greg's get three to a nil as well. I'm glad that we've got the uh, clean sheet as well. Nice little goal there. Greg's go top of the league. It's a pretty good start to the season. I'm very happy with this. Really special lads. No one gives a chance. Fantastic. So that is where we are going to end this episode. It's been a really fun one. We've grabbed two wins to start the season off really well. I'll probably pick you up in about a month or so's time when we've kind of seen how we've started the season, who's going to be a really good player for us, that kind of thing. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you could subscribe and like the video, if you have liked it, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to be churning these out a lot, so I hope you can get behind the series. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, and be kind to one another.